you may or may not want to update your iPhone or iPad to the latest iOS 14. However, you should at least have the option. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to ensure that automatic updates is turned off and you don't accidentally get the new version if you don't want it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. So why on earth would you not want to update your iPhone or iPad to the latest operating system? Well, the main reason is some of the apps you may use may not have been updated to work correctly. So if you're in the middle of some sort of big project, creating music, video, whatever you're doing, I recommend not updating until you're absolutely sure that the apps you're using are going to be supported. You may also just wish to wait until the next incremental version comes comes out because with iOS, sometimes when they first release it, there's bugs and other issues. And by the time you get to the next version, they've fixed a lot of those. Now we're at version 14.1 now, so I'm close to being ready to update, but something weird happened today. I was sure I had automatic updates turned off and then I got a notification that said this, Yes, it's going to automatically update to iOS 14.1 tonight. So I now need to jump in here and turn off that automatic update. And I'm going to show you how to do it here too. So the first thing we're going to do is tap on our settings icon. Now, because I got this notification, it is right here at the top. So if I tap on this software update will be auto installed, it'll take me into this, the standard software update date screen. Now I can hit the install now button. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is down the bottom here, tap on this one, the customize automatic updates. And what you want to do is you want to take these off. You definitely want install iOS updates off and it's going to say, yep, do you want to do that? Turn off automatic updates, cancel install tonight. I want to turn off automatic updates. I'll tell you when I want to do this. The other thing I'm going to do is turn off the auto download because I'll be able to go in and choose when I download and then choose when I install. Now, if you don't want to have the effort of this, if you just want the latest versions all the time, that's totally cool. But if you want to ensure you have control over this, which I recommend if you're a creator using a lot of apps, then this is pretty essential. So that is now done. We can tap the back button and there, we're all good. It's going to check for the update, but now I can manually install the update when I choose to. Now, what if you don't have that notification? How do you get to your options? Well, once again, we're going to tap on the settings. This time we're going to go down to the general settings down the bottom here and tap on software update. This will take you into that manual software update checking screen. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can tap again on the customize automatic updates and you can set your settings there. So you can turn off the download and install. And this just means that now you have complete control over when you update to the latest version of iOS. Want to learn more about using your iOS device to create music, video, and a whole bunch of other things? Well, check out the links there and there and down in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.